So today we'll learn about various geotagging options available in Mission Planner. So let me start Mission Planner. Control F. Then geo reference images. So here I'll have to uh, browse my log uh, taken from my autopilot. And then go to the folder where the log is saved okay and also uh, typically uh, the the images are kept in the same folder where there is the log uh, or or you can maybe keep it in a different folder but you'll have to point to that folder okay so here there are two options scam messages and trigger messages so we'll use trigger messages first i'll i'll get to what's the difference between the two and do a pre-process okay so here you can see that uh, the number of images are 1564 whereas the number of cam messages are 1580 so there is a difference of around uh, 16 images uh, so the reason for the difference is probably there was very high event when we were flying this drone so because of that the camera did not get sufficient time to trigger images and uh, and as you can see we cannot proceed forward with this technique so we'll have to go with uh, a different uh, technique uh, which is based on time uh, time offsets so click on that and then uh, we'll have to estimate the seconds uh, offset so click on this So in this you can see uh, the image name, uh, date and time at which it was triggered, GPS log time and then estimated offset. Now good starting point I would say is, I'll go to the uh, image folder. Okay, so in this you can see that there were two images triggered on ground and the third image was the aerial image. Uh, so its name is DSC1084. So uh, we'll try to use the offset of the first aerial image. This is DSC1084, date and time, GPS login and estimated offset for this uh, image set. I'll just try to copy this number and paste it here. Okay, and then click on pre-process. Okay, so this is a problem which I frequently face uh, use dot as a decimal separator there is al already a dot here but for some reason it points out again and again uh, simple fix is just click on R ten six four. ok now pre-process now it will proceed we will wait for some time ok it says processing done now we'll try to do some QC. So the best way to do that is basically uh, find a good reference areas like a road, a water body or something like that. And just click on this. Okay, I can see a road here. Again a road. Again a road. So this seems reasonable enough. Uh, there's a water body here. Let's try to find out. Okay, yeah. So I can see the water body in the image as well. I'll try to do that for some other areas. Say here, there are two water bodies. This image probably both of them should be not just one. Okay, yeah. So this uh, this seems reasonable enough. So we can probably go with. Uh, this the setting in this case and then click on geotag images and uh, we should be good enough but uh, in this case we were directly able to do that I mean uh, to find out our uh, seconds offset but in most cases this this does not work so it will need some sort of uh, tweaking to get the desired output so what uh, so I'll go to the first point first trigger point so here in this case you can see that it should the first point over here should have started from here 
but uh, it, it has not started so what I'll do is I'll try to change the offset say from 19760 to say I go down to 19 I mean decrease it by a step of 10 and I can click on pre-process and see what are the output that we can get from this okay it says processing done we'll try to zoom to the first point okay so here we can see that uh, the first point has shifted in the wrong, wrong direction probably I mean it should have come here but in this case it has gone here we will also try to find out at some other points what is the status say here I should see the road which is not the case so clearly this this geotagging has not worked properly and we'll have to do something to change that okay yeah so uh, initially the, the figure was 19760.64 and I reduced it by uh, 10 to 50 I mean uh, in the step of 10 now what I'll do is I'll go back to my original and probably add 2 and click on click process again wait for a while ok now we'll again zoom to the first position you can see this seems little better and we will okay here we should be able to see the road here there it is okay click on some more points maybe this one yeah I can see the pond okay there's a water body here let's click here okay that's also visible this one is also visible so after clicking through some of the points I should be able to understand just a second okay we find a few more road or water body here okay yeah, there's a road going here. Yeah. And here as well. Okay. So this seems reasonable enough. And I'll uh, just, I mean, after seeing that everything is align lining up properly, I can click geotag images. And this will take some time to process okay so uh, so what we understood is uh, at some at some time uh, I mean most of the cases this uh, cam messages or the trigger messages command will work but uh, when there is a difference between the camera images and the triggers uh, this this ideology will not work so in that case we'll have to go with time offset uh, the difference between choosing cam messages and trigger messages is basically uh, while I mean in your settings while you're setting the pixel or the mission through the mission planner then in that case uh, a pixel or any other hard pilot based hardware uh, through the mission planner so if you are using the hot shoe so the settings are different if uh, then then not using hot shoe so uh, so I mean uh, not to confuse you a lot uh, you can try both the messages uh, both the methods so whichever works for you uh, that you should go with and if, if both of these methods are not working in that case you have to go with time offset command okay so we'll wait for a while until this processing is done so now this is your tagging finished and this will basically save all the images in a separate geotagged folder uh, you can use this image directly in any of the image processing softwares like Agisoft or Pix4D or any other software. Yeah, so this is it.